uh, it's always an adjustment every year. But that's why you you know we work hard in the summer and spring just to kind of prepare for that. Jake, you feel like you guys can build off last year? I mean, you know, had such a great year. Mm -hmm. um, I would, I would say for sure. You know, we have a bunch of guys back. Obviously, we lost Jay Ma, Isha now. We're three big parts of our team, but I've, you know, we have Manu, Joe, me, King, TJ, Nooney, a bunch of guys who either played in big moments, hit big shots in big moments, um, have that experience, and you know, already kind of carry that over into bigger roles. Uh, helped me a lot, you know. It's we had a good year uh, last year, so you know it's more experience for me, and you know getting to play with uh, all them dudes, and then you know like Jake said, him, me, King, Nooney, TJ, Joe, all back together, so it helped a lot. Coach said your Belgium experience helps you. You feel like playing for them this year that that helped you? Of course, it did help me. It's a gr it, it was a great experience, you know, play with like. Actually, like real pros, you know, they all already make money. You know, they already like 30 years old at least. So, you know, the game is different. Um, it teaches you an another part of the game. Um, you know, so helped me a lot. What's the biggest thing you took away from it, game-wise? Uh, you know, the, the the pace pace of the game. You know, as you get older, the, the game gets uh, slower, much slower. So it helps you make better decision. So, uh, yeah, I, w I would say the rhythm of the game, you know, uh, the ability to change speed uh, as a player also. Jake, these first few weeks of practice leading up to that first game, how important is it for, for you guys to show the younger kids, like, this is, this is how we practice, this is what every day is going to be like out here? Uh, I would say it's uh, kind of a, a way to set the tone for their four years here. I remember my first couple of weeks, I was going against TP and Ish, and. Lester every day and Manu, so that that kind of taught me what you had to bring every day. So it doesn't just like set a tone for this year, but it helps them like know what to expect and know what they had to do to prepare for it. Manu, what do you see from uh, Tristan Clark? Oh, uh, great player, uh, even a better person. Uh, he he's very quiet. You know, it's, it's everything is pretty much new to him, but he he's done a great job um, offensively. Defensively, he's got he's got a lot of, a lot of things to work on. Still, you know, he's a freshman, but um, I really like his game. He's a he's a huge force inside, and he's going to help us a lot. But what is his game? What is he, he's well, he's a he's a four, you know, post player, but he can also hit me on the 15 foot shot. Uh, actually, very good shooter, uh, also a free throw shooter, um, but very good, very phys physical. Uh, even though he's still a freshman, so. I really like his game. Particularly with J-Mod gone, how much do you lean on, or what, what are your expectations for Joe? Joe's got, he's got so much better, so much better ever since he got here as a, as a red shirt with me. And even from last year, he's, he's really got better offensively too. Defensively, you know, he's always going to do the job. He's big time. But offensively, I thought that even his shot is much better, his post moves too. So, you know, he's going to have to step it up. Uh, since you know Jay Mott is gone, but uh, he he's ready for it. Feel the same way about Maston that he has to step up and play a much bigger role this year. Yeah, he's gonna uh, he's gonna play um, more minutes this year. But you know TJ's TJ. He's a bucket ever since he got here, so I'm not worried about him. All right, with the schedule you guys play in, in non-conference, does it kind of give you a little extra pep in the step during these first couple weeks to kind of be ready to go once that season does come around? It's a great schedule. A little bit like last year, you know, we have tough teams uh, early in the year, so we're just going to have to prepare the same way. Jake, tons of minutes this team, the guys coming back playing mm -hmm. last year, at least early in the season on through. How much does that help kind of reestablish the rhythm that you guys had set last year without having to break in a ton of new players? Um, I think it's, uh, it's helpful. I mean, at the same time, you know, roles changed throughout the years. We kind of saw that. But, I mean, guys like Nooney, um, who's really going to surprise a lot of people, is due for a big increase in minutes, usage, production. I'm really looking forward to him. Guys like him, they get that rhythm early on. Um, that'll be big for him, especially when he missed the first half of the year. And then especially the young guys, you know, get their first couple minutes under their belt. You know, game slows down a whole lot. Um, just getting them understanding where they can contribute and what they need to do to earn more minutes is going to be key. 
technical guy. What do you see your role as this year? Um, you know, it, it kind of changes throughout the year. Um, you know, obviously, we got Manu back. We got King, who's King lost 20 pounds, added four inches to his vertical, was shooting the ball like crazy, like especially yesterday. So, him, Nooney, gonna take big jumps in production. Manu and Joe are gonna take big jumps. TJ is due for a big jump. So, me personally, I just whatever you know is didn't care about scoring. Sometimes we needed to be more aggressive, so I'm a, a little bit more scoring minded than Ishes, but. You know, similar to him, where you know you just kind of make the plays needed to win. You know, if you're not shooting the ball well, that's all right. You know, we have plenty of guys in this team who can score, but there's always things that can be brought every day. Ish brought a lot of energy and a lot of hype while he was on the bench or on the floor. Um, do you kind of see someone filling that role as kind of the hype guy? Uh, I know Nooney brings a lot of energy. Nooney and CJ kind of feed off each other. They're both goofy personalities. Uh, Ish is one of a kind, but. Uh, Tyson's a big is a big personality too. Mark uh, gets really excited. I think uh, this year we're, we're the older guys like to lead more by like speaking and then lead by example. Where Ish would just kind of try to bring the energy. So it'll be kind of a group effort to kind of replace that attitude he brought.